Hi, I'm Annie Fitzsimmons. I'm your Washington Realtors legal hotline lawyer. Welcome back to our video series entitled DB's Wish List. Hi, Annie. Here's the situation and question I have for the DB Wish List. Recently, a client of mine put the first offer in on a property. I asked the listing broker to please keep us informed if other offers came in so that we could stay in the game. The listing broker informed me they didn't want to violate state license law by disclosing the terms of any other offers. Well, I completely disagree with that. So here's my question for the DB wish list. Are the details of a buyer's offer ever confidential? Can the buyer put anything in their offer to make it confidential? I ask because it's in the seller's best interest to disclose the terms and details of all offers to all potential buyers in the pursuit of the highest and best offer. Thank you. Thanks for that great question. Particularly relevant in a marketplace where sellers are not only hoping but maybe even expecting to get multiple offers. Listing brokers, it's critical that you have a conversation with your seller at the time you take the listing, asking your seller, how do you want, how do you, seller, want me as your listing broker to negotiate multiple offers? Can't promise you we're gonna get multiple offers, but of course we're very hopeful you're gonna get multiple offers. And if that happens, what do you wanna do, seller? There's any number of ways to negotiate multiple offers. You could pick a single buyer and negotiate with that buyer until you either reach agreement or determine you're not going to and then move on to the next buyer. You could ask all buyers to bring back their highest and best and then select from that. You could ask all buyers to bring their highest and best and then counter one of those. Seller, one thing that you can do is you can share the terms of competing offers with competing buyers. Too often buyers think that the terms of their offer are confidential and even worse, too often sellers, or I'm sorry, listing brokers, think that the terms of a buyer's offer are confidential. They're not, they never are, they never will be. The agency law defines confidential when it comes to real estate brokerage relationships. It's a five part definition for confidential information. And one leg of that definition requires that the uh, principal who's making the disclosure, the confidential disclosure, has not disclosed that information to a third party. Well, from a buyer's perspective, there's no greater third party than the seller. So when a buyer makes an offer to a seller, the terms of buyer's offer are by definition not confidential, meaning that the terms of one buyer's offer can be shared with another buyer if, and here's the trick, or I shouldn't even say the trick, here's the important part of this equation. The terms of one buyer's offer can be shared with a competing buyer if and only if seller instructs listing broker to make that disclosure. Nothing confidential about the terms. Buyer can't control whether or not the terms of their offer are shared with a competing buyer, but seller can. Seller, do you want me to share the terms of your offer with a competing buyer, I'm sorry, do you want me to share the terms of one competing buyer's offer with a competing buyer in hopes of getting one of the offers to go up higher than they are currently? Might work to do that. It might be a better way of doing that. Seller, what do you want? These are all of the different ways that I'm recommending. You tell me how you want me to negotiate this offer. But if you want me to share the terms of a competing offer with a competing buyer, you have to instruct me to do that. If you have questions on this topic or any other, send an email to me, legalhotline at warealtor.org. Thank you for being a Washington Realtors member.